Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So what's up in Japan? Makoto Shinkai. Remember that guy? If you're here, you probably already know him as the creator of Your Name or Kimi no Nawa. The 45-year-old director now has so much hype on his name alone, anything he touches will have the eyes of the world looking upon it, and he most likely hasn't gotten used to it and probably won't anytime in the near future. But this man, the man responsible for the highest grossing anime film of all time, while already being hyped around the world to be the true successor of the Japanese animation king, Hayao Miyazaki, who in the world can he be jealous of? It's likely he is often the subject of envy when it comes to people working in the animation industry, but it turns out Makoto Shinkai is also human, and when he sees something excellent, he is not afraid to tell the world about it. So, Makoto Shinkai just yesterday posted a tweet about the new animated film, Sayonara no Asa ni Yakusoku no Hana wo Kazaro. It's a terrible title, but if you've been watching anime lately, you would have noticed the growing trend of long titles in the last few years. The English title is Makuya, When the Promised Flower Blooms, or we can just call it the Mari Okada film for now. Because this film is directed and written by Mari Okada, who is also the writer for Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans, which is probably where many of us learned of her name and of her awesome writing skills. This is her directorial debut and is pretty much only known at this point by people who are way too deep in anime. But for those of us who have been following her stuff, including Shinkai, we all know deep down that one day she will make it big in the anime world. And by big, I mean Shinkai big. So this film is actually set to air the 24th of February, which is next week. But obviously, Shinkai being an industry insider has already gotten his eyes on this film, and he absolutely loves it. In the tweet, he mentioned that the movie was wonderful and that it brought back memories. He also said that if you see this quality in someone's directorial debut, you will also be jealous of her. So for her first movie, she has already been acknowledged by an anime giant in Japan. He's not the first one to do it, and he will not be the last one. Everybody has been sleeping on Mari Okada for the longest time, and for a female in the Japanese anime industry to be making this type of climb makes this all even more impressive. So what is this film about anyways? It's about a girl named Makuya. She's from a clan where all its members stop aging in their mid-teens. She doesn't have parents, and although every day is a peaceful day, she begins to feel lonely. But she doesn't feel that way for long as her peace is shattered when all of a sudden, an army invades looking for the secret to her people's immortality. So basically, all her friends from the clan were taken away, including the boy she secretly had feelings for, but she managed to escape somehow. Wandering in the forest alone, she finds Ariel, who is a baby boy, who has also lost his parents. And so, the story now follows Makuya and Ariel, as Ariel grows up since he's a normal human being, while Makuya does not age a single day. Now, if you've watched anything from Mariokada before, you will know that bad stuff can hit the fan at any moment in time. And just from watching the trailer, you know this movie is 100% setting you up for some serious bad stuff hitting the fan. This movie is definitely one of those why can't I hold these feels type of movies, but again, this is a Mario Okada film, so the response is going to be divided. Just like how some people loved Iron Blooded Orphans, while other people absolutely hated it. But for the people who went to the preview of this film, one thing is for certain, and it is that no matter who you are, it will make you cry. Or at least, close to crying. So, this film is set to release in the UK and Ireland later in March, but no word for the rest of the world at the moment. I'm guessing they're gonna see how it does locally first in Japan before they release it anywhere else, because if it does end up being a big hit, we might just have ourselves the Your Name of 2018. Maybe. Anyways, that is it for Makuya, When the Promised Flower Blooms. Hopefully, we'll get to see it in the West sometime this year, but what do you guys think of this Shinkai-approved movie so far? As usual, I've left a poll for you guys up there, and also let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to drop a thumbs up before you leave, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications if you want to be updated with the latest that's going on in Japan, and I'll see you guys in the next one.